Well, it's looking like a good day to go camping. Not to mention, just picked up this brand new camper here, and uh, I think it's time to test it out. So I got everything loaded up here. Got the X3 all loaded up. Got the Renegade as well. See, my truck's going to be towing all that. Got the Dodge here hooked up to our brand new camper. Now, this has probably got to be one of the coolest campers I've ever seen in Farm Sim. You can actually walk into this camper and look, it's got a full interior. Like, this is super cool. Also, big shout out to Rodrigo and Harry for sending this out. It is an amazing camper. Probably one of the coolest I've ever seen. And you can even walk up here. There's the bedroom. It's super, super nice. So I think with this, we're, are we even technically camping? I think we're going to be more glamping than anything. But we're going to go take this thing up into the mountains, have some fun, go ride some toys. Should be a good time. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton. And I appreciate it so much. So I ended up getting everything loaded up last night. So we're all good to go here. We got everything in the trailer that we're going to need. We're heading up to a camping spot that's about 20 minutes away from here. So it's not too far into the mountains, but it's still a good ways. And I think this is our turn right here to uh, get going up into the trails there. Uh oh, looks like we got a tree across the road. Am I going to be able to fit under this? Um, maybe. I don't know. I got a chainsaw if not, but uh, we're just going to make it under there. We're all good. This is a pretty dang big camper. So hopefully the Dodge actually has enough power to get it up the hills here because there's some pretty steep ones. I would have loved to tow it with the SEMA truck, but the SEMA truck's just way too tall for this camper and uh, it would have looked pretty ridiculous on there I'm trying to tow it. Well, we're getting pretty close to the spot here. We're definitely pretty far up in the mountains and it is looking really nice out here. I love this. I've not been out camping here before, but wish I came sooner. Man, it is nice out here. But one wrong move and you're going to be down a cliff and uh, well, it's probably not going to end very well. And I'm pretty sure our Dodge is still trailing behind there. All right. So I think this is the spot right here. It's kind of overlooking the big valley in here. Man, this is nice. I think we'll just pull in here, get the camper unfolded, get set up. We'll go do some trail riding. Should be a lot of fun. All right. I think we're pretty much good to go. Got uh, the generator going on here. So if you want to make some food, we're good for that. But I think first we're going to go uh, get the quads unloaded, probably go do some trail riding and we'll make some supper later. Yeah. Not too sure if I really needed to bring out the renegade today because, uh, well, it's been pretty dry out here and uh, there is not a lot of mud as of recent here. So probably just going to rip around on the X3. If I do find some mud, though, we'll definitely take out the renegade. But until then, we'll just take out the X3. Do some trail scouting, see what's out there. I haven't really been out here too much, so we'll have to see how it is. I'm pretty sure coming up here, I saw some sort of a radio tower or something. I want to go check that out, see what's out there. Oh yeah, there it is. What? What is this? Is this just someone's cabin? Doesn't look like anybody's here. What is that? Is this some sort of like a... A wind turbine or something? I don't even know what the heck this is. It must be some sort of a wind turbine or something. I don't know. Could it be an oil jack of sorts? I don't think so. I could be very wrong, but I I don't think it's... I don't even know what this is. If you guys know what this is, put it down in the comments because I have no clue and I've never even seen anything like it before. Huh. This could be one of these cabins that uh, is just on one of the trails there and people build them to, you know, have a nice place in the winter if you need to stop. Yeah, not much in here. It's pretty barren. Huh. Yeah, so it must just be one of those kind of cabins, I guess. Man, it is really nice out here. You can just see for miles. I don't think I've seen any like actual dedicated trails. I know there's roads like locking roads all through here and just loads of different places to go look at. I don't even know what's all out here yet. Oh boy, we're drifting a little bit. That looks like we got a tree in the road. I'll have to come back with my chainsaw. If I got nothing better to do this afternoon, I'll just come and cut that out of there. Because I think this was the way I was going to take home once we uh, had enough of camping for the week. But I think we're going to stay out here for a couple days. Looks like a lot of fun places to be checking out. So currently we're headed out to what I believe is a bit of a pond down there. Kind of the lower parts of the mountains there. And I wanted to go check that out, see what's out there. Oh yeah, here's the road we're supposed to be on. All right, I think this is it. Oh yeah, here it is. Man, it is nice down here. I wonder if I took the Renegade through this, if it would make it. Now it's got those bigger tires on it. It might actually just float through it. I'm gonna go see what's in the shed back here. What's in here? Hello? Anybody in there? No, no, I think this one's uh, been abandoned for a couple years. Highly doubt anybody's living in here. Is this the drive through window? Hey, y'all got any Big Macs in there? No? Huh. Must not... Uh open at the moment well i think later this afternoon after i uh get some supper there i might bring the renegade back here see if we can just uh mess around in that pond a little bit have some fun but i think for now we're gonna head back up to the camper there and get some supper going not without driving through the pond first hold on am i gonna sink this thing i oh, know we're good it ain't even that deep 
just get the floorboards wet. That's about it. That was kind of disappointing. All right, so we're back at the camper here. I got uh, my fire pit here kind of set up because, uh, well, there is an open fire ban right now, so you can't have open fires, but a uh, fire in a box like this, you can. Um, I also did bring firewood. Looking back on that, not a smart idea. I could have just cut down any one of these dead trees here. But besides that point, when I had myself some supper, it's pretty good. I was just chilling out in the camper here, playing a bit of farm sim, watching a bit of TV. Man, nothing better than some luxury camping. I ain't got to sleep in some tent on a sleeping bag. Nah, nah, I got a full bed. Look at this. Lap of luxury right here. But enough about that. I think I'm going to go and grab the renegade there. We're going to head back on down to that pond. And we're going to see if I can tear that up enough to uh, get some mud going in there. Yeehaw! Oh boy, we're flipping. We're flipping. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we made it back to the pond here. And obviously, I'm not going to need the snorkels. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're kind of doing some water wheelies there. Oh boy. Now we're just spinning. <laughs> we're just spinning away. I may be caught up on something now. That's not good. What the heck? We're just spinning away. Oh boy. How fast can we go? Uh, okay. Let's try that again and try not to get stuck. Well, now we're just spinning at this point. I'm, I'm just kicking up mud everywhere. So you'd think the assassin ears would actually do something. No, they just kick up mud. We're hardly getting through. In fact, we're just spinning around. Okay, now I think I'm really stuck. Let's try back out. It is not having it. Come on, we're almost out. We're almost out. Okay, now we're just spinning. We're so close. We're so close. We're out. We're out. Just about. There we go. I don't know if a white quad was a uh, smart choice. You know, it kind of really makes the mud stick out. Well, I can definitely say that the X3 handled this a lot better than the Renegade. Because I just go into this and I completely sink. I, I don't even know what's going on now. I'm just... I'm stuck in midair. Come on, Renegade. Oh boy. Yeah, we're, we're stuck. We're stuck bad. I need a winch. Well, after getting myself winched out for probably about the 30th, 20th, 20th, 30th time, uh, I think my diff may be broken. So we're going to try to get back. Uh, I heard a lot of crunching and grinding sounds, so that can't be good. Uh, hopefully we can make it back there. If we can't, well, it's going to be a long walk back. But that was fun while it lasted. Now I, I think I might have broke... A lot of things, but we'll see if we can make it back. So I'll see you guys at the camper. Oh, shoot. That's a bear down there. Yeah, we're out of here. Well, we're back at the camper here. I had a better chance to look at the quad. Uh, definitely a broken diff. So that's going to have to go into the shop afterwards. I'm going to get some uh, wood on this fire here. There we go. Look at that. Nice. You know, I should have took the SEMA truck mudding. I could have took it all the way down to that pond there. It would have been a good time. This thing probably would have gotten absolutely buried, and I don't know how I would have got it out. I don't even think the other Dodge could have pulled it out. But, oh well, I guess there's always next time. Well, it's getting pretty late here. I've just been chilling out on the fire, watching the sun go down. But I think I'm going to turn in here to the nice camper. Oh, man, it's so nice in here. Again, big shout out to Rodrigo and Harry for sending this over. I also do want to say that this camper is private and probably will never be released, just for those of you who are going to ask, but I think I'm going to go to bed. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for us today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one.